Hey everybody, it's gonna be my first live cook, 20 minute meals. I am Jennifer, the girl that grills. I don't know if you can see me or not, the stove's awfully hot. We are going to make honey garlic chicken, oven roasted asparagus, and some pineapple rice. So we are gonna go ahead and, I have a toddler, so <laughs> might be a little loud. We're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 and That'll be for our asparagus. We're gonna just roast that. That way it can be preheating while we're cooking everything else. Yeah, I go. So we're gonna start with our rice. Oh my goodness, right here, sweetheart. <laughs> we're gonna start with our rice. So you're gonna have one cup of water. It's already gonna be hot. Add in one cup of rice. And then you're going to add in about a cup of chopped pineapple. A little bit of that juice in there will never hurt you. Uh, two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Put all that right down in there. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, try not to cook with a lot of salt. So I'm just going to finish out the jar here. Um, if you like salty food, if you like a lot of salt, salt it up, be my guest. Um, so you just want to stir all that together. And you're going to just kind of let that come back up to a high simmer over medium high heat. And we are going to move on to our next project which is gonna be our honey garlic chicken. So this pan is not hot. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Just put it all in a bag and toss it with your chicken chunks. makes for cleanup to be super simple. You can do this with chicken thighs, you can do it with chicken breast, um, any piece of the chicken that you like. I just prefer a chicken breast. Um, a lot of people give me a hard time about that. But regardless, we are gonna go ahead and do chicken breast today. So we're gonna get this started. High heat. And add in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Get that hot, go ahead and add in our chicken as soon as that's hot. <clears throat> While we are waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm gonna show you guys a trick about breaking asparagus. I've cleaned this asparagus piece. So you can chop it, but if you snap it, it actually just kind of tells you where you want to separate your asparagus at. So, just a neat little trick. Don't have to do it that way. Just the way I do it. All right, so our rice has come up to a nice simmer. Got our butter in there, all of our seasonings, all of our pineapple. So we are gonna go ahead, time that off, 20 minutes. Cover it up and set it on low so that it'll simmer on low. All right, I'd say our oil is pretty hot now, yep. You can kind of see how it just kind of moves freely around. So you just want to take all your chicken pieces out. Throw them in the oil. Kind of evenly disperse them. And 
It doesn't matter if they're not completely coated on each side, but just give them a little gentle pulse before you take them out of the bag. And I hope that you guys, I can't see the camera, so I hope that you guys will leave me some feedback in the comments. If there's something different you'd like to see, um, if there's recipes that you'd like to request, you know, I am going to be going a little bit further delving into this culinary stuff. So I want to honest feedback. My, uh, I'll say my setup is going to be a little different from in the future. Um, but we've got about 15 days left in this house. So you get what you get for 15 days. <laughs> you just want to cook this for about four to five minutes on each side in just a nice big pan. I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad on that. My oven is new, so it gets a little hot. Add in just a little more oil. I don't want my chicken to get dry. Chicken breasts tend to get dry um, and tend to overcook really fast. I'm going to go ahead and throw my cover on that for sake of making a mess and give it just a few minutes. All right, so while this chicken is kind of rendering, I'm gonna go ahead and do the asparagus. So I'm gonna prep it down there and then you guys will kind of be able to see. I'm gonna bring it back up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just gonna take some more olive oil and just drizzle it all over your asparagus. You guys will come to find, I don't really, use a lot of measurements and I am pretty heavy handed. And then I am going to toss my asparagus with some of this Rectex freaking Greek rub. It's my absolute favorite Rectex rub. And then I'm gonna give just a little squirt of lemon juice. Bring a little citrus to it. Uh, you can add, you know, you can add some Parmesan cheese. You can do any seasoning that you like. Salt, pepper, you can do it plain. Um, I don't exactly suggest that. All right, so we're gonna flip our chicken. Nice and golden. Nice and golden. That's exactly what the kind of color we're looking for here. I know it's tedious flipping every piece, but uh, it'll be worth it.
All right, so we're gonna turn this down to low, let it come cool. I'm gonna show you guys my asparagus. You just kind of want to get it even on the thing, on the pan. I do foil line. You can do parchment line. You can put it right on the pan. Um, but in my opinion, easier to clean up, the better. You're just going to let this cook for about two minutes, so we are kind of at that point right now. We let this pan cool back down just a little bit. I'm going to add in a little bit more butter. All right, so we are going to go ahead and add in our butter. Put it right there in the center. You're going to want to let it melt. And for me, I like asparagus tender, uh, but not fall apart. I don't want it to like melt in my mouth. So when the rice timer has about 12 minutes left, I go ahead and pop my asparagus in the oven. That way everything will be done at one time. So we just throw our asparagus in there. We're gonna let this melt around. So let me know in the comments, do you guys have a favorite butter company that you use? Uh, growing up, we always used Blue Bonnet. It was what my grandmother bought. I'm not even sure that's butter. I think that's margarine. <laughs> um, I use Challenge Butter now. Um, pretty much my favorite. I pretty much stick with that. But let me know in the comments. Be curious to see what type of butter everybody uses. All right, now we're gonna add in our star of the show, which is garlic, and let me be honest with you guys, squeeze garlic where it's at. I'm not chopping garlic all day. Let's say put about three to four cloves of garlic in there. Some of you guys are gonna tell me that's not enough. Some of you are gonna tell me it's too much. but use your desired amount of garlic. Just kind of mix everything around. This chicken is getting very close to being done. We don't want to overcook it. Again, this is chicken breast. It's not as resilient as the chicken thigh would be. All right, so now that that's all kind of incorporated, we're gonna add our final step to the chicken, which is this little mixture here. It is one third cup honey, one third cup chicken stock, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I use low sodium soy sauce. So just wanna pour this all in. And this is gonna thicken and make that delicious glaze on top of the chicken. So make sure that your eye is down to low. Mix everything around. And we're just gonna kind of let it simmer for just a few minutes. Then we're gonna crank it up to high, get that sticky sweet, and then everything will be done. Look. 
this is the boring part of cooking. This is where I'd be cleaning up the kitchen as I go. Um, that's the wonderful thing about some of these meals that I'll be making and bringing to you guys is, you know, it, it'll be time efficient for you. It'll feed your family and it'll also give you time to kind of clean behind yourself. And that way, you know, when you sit down to eat, you don't have to get back up and clean a massively disgusting kitchen. No one loves that more than me. So we've got about eight minutes left on our chicken and our rice and our asparagus. So I will be posting the recipes, the recipe cards, so that you guys can make a grocery list, get everything that you need if you want to recreate this meal. If you know my husband, he will give you a true and honest review of my cooking. There are no feelings spared. Which I love because I don't want to produce content. I don't want to produce recipes that you guys are not interested in. And again, if you weren't on earlier, if you're just kind of tuning in, if there's any kind of specific recipe that you have as a request, if there's something you want to see, um, if you have, you know, an idea, please leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to try to either produce it or recreate it, give you a recipe if you need an tip or just have a question leave it i'll try to answer it the best i can just kind of basting the chicken and this is one of those things. You guys don't have to babysit this. I'm just babysitting it because I am on Facebook Live. Do we have any questions or anything, Mike? So our chicken is absolutely done. Again, we're just kind of letting that marry in the sauce and let the sauce thicken up. This is honey garlic chicken paired with pineapple rice and some roasted Greek asparagus. I know the Greek doesn't really go with it, but when you have the Rectech freaking Greek seasoning in your house, and you have a veggie, you can't help but use it. It's seriously that good. If you're local to Rectech, I implore you to go get yourself a bottle. Um, if you are not and you don't own a Rectech, they have a really great deal going on right now. It is a Rectech 340, which is my favorite Rectech. This is a small Rectech, big enough to feed a family of four. Um, you can do three racks of ribs and then, you know, a fourth if you have the shelf. Right now, Rectech has their 340 for $6.99, and that includes a pellet bundle, which is unheard of. So if you're in the market, let me know. I'll get you set up. Don't forget they give military and first responder discounts on all of their products. So give those guys a shout. All right, we're coming into the four minute mark. We've got four minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead, crank this up a little bit higher temp to get 
some of that liquid cooked out of that chicken, get it sticky. And then we'll be ready to eat. So you can kind of see the honey caramelizing, and this is exactly what you want. You want that pretty caramel color. You want to watch it. You don't want it to burn, because if you've ever burned caramel, then you know it's disgusting. So just kind of get that pretty caramel color, and you just want to toss your chicken lightly. Two minute mark guys, two minutes until we get to see this rice and we get to eat. Hi Reagan, are you ready to eat? See how thick that sauce has gotten? That's oh, perfect. It is just like caramel. So that's exactly what you want. You just want that caramel runny consistency. It's gonna be sticky, it's gonna be savory, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so we're gonna just cut this back down below just to keep it warm. See how that just sticks to the spoon? That's the consistency that you want. Just wanna let it run and you want some to linger around the spoon. If you try this recipe, please be sure to let me know. Let me know what you think about it. All right, we are just gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. And we are counting down to the final minute of 20 minute meals. Go ahead and move this back off of the pie. Preserve that caramel. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out our asparagus. Absolutely lovely. Perfect cook on that. And we've got 20 seconds to the reveal. The thing I will tell you about rice, do not peek. Do not peek in your 20 minute window of rice. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Eight seconds, guys. Counting down with me. 20 minute meals is almost come and gone. All right, we've got our timer. Pineapples. So you just wanna fluff your rice. And this is gonna be a savory sweet rice too. <laughs> You want to serve this warm. I typically use Batsmati rice. I only had long grain in the house. Um, don't buy your rice in bags. You guys can cook this. If I can cook it, you can cook it. I serve this with Japanese barbecue sauce. You can serve it with soy, duck, whatever sauce you have, whatever sauce you like. Um, it also will be tremendous with a little bit of this caramel sauce from the honey garlic chicken. So we have successfully created a 20 minute meal. I hope that you guys have thoroughly enjoyed my cooking. Um, left me some great comments to see. And I will see you on the next 20 minute meal. Thanks for tuning in.